Do you, do you want to talk about Collingwood? Oh man. Do you want to? Um. Why not? Okay. It's your story to tell. Okay. Only, only under the, and I don't want to distract from you, Carolyn. No. You're the guest here. Um, no, but it's a relatable. Like, yeah. You're I on want, TV, right? I want to tell this story, but I want to preface it by saying that this person is not a bad person. Yeah. And I do not want them demonized. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We clear. Everybody listening, clear. Good. Good <laughs> classes in on. Okay. So what happened was, we were we were with uh, Sleeman. Uh, they have their rail side session ale mm-hmm. stuff that they are uh, promoting, and we took a bunch of listeners up to Collingwood. We did a boat tour. Uh, we took really goofy uh, planted photos on on the boat. We we went out for pizza. <laughs> like it was terrible. Uh, those photos were so terrible, but so great. I love them. Um, and had an amazing amazing time with these people. Like I I'm so glad every time we we hang out with our own listeners. I'm like damn. Oh, the best. They're like, everybody's yeah. rad. It's awesome. But we go to a bar, and of course, now we're outside of just the listeners, right? Mm-hmm. You're, everybody's there. There's an Irish pub, and I forget what it's called, but it's right in that Blue Mountain Circle there. And you're at a bar, so everything's kind of more relaxed. Yeah. You're friends, right? Yeah. And, Speak and, your mind. And I'm sure that you've seen, and I'm sure you've had this happen if you're at a bar or something like that, and I'm not sure how many bars you frequent, but yeah. uh, <laughs> somebody grabs you and goes, hey, I know you from. Mm-hmm. Right? Sure. So I'm, I'm walking to the bathroom. I already have to pee. <laughs> right, like naturally, I've been drinking beer all day. I gotta go really badly. So yeah, that yeah, yeah. imagine that you're in that headspace, and somebody grabs your shoulder, mm-hmm. and I turn around, and it's a guy about my age, good looking dude, and uh, he says, "I know you. You're Adam from Breakfast Television." And that was surprising. Somebody under the age of 35 recognized me from Breakfast <laughs> Television. And, uh, and he said, uh, he said I watch you every morning. And I said, thank you so much. That's really great. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, you know, we talk back and forth. I find out he's a firefighter in Mississauga. He told me what pump he was at. And I said, well, that's amazing. Like, you know, I, I almost was a firefighter. Like, if a broadcasting hadn't worked out, that's what I probably would have done. And he's like, oh, that's really, really cool. He's like, yeah, you know, he's like, when I watch you, I feel like I'm, I'm, uh, I'm watching a friend, and I said that is the best compliment yeah. you can pay me. And then he, and this is where, <laughs> this is where the train falls off the rails. He he grabbed my belly with his thumb and his in his uh, index finger, and he said, "But this has to go, though." Yeah. And it was like I'm sorry, I'm laughing, I, but the balls, <laughs> the, the kind of balls that only no, liquor can but it's, give but, you. But I, what I find fascinating is, I'm sorry that that happened to you. No, by the it's way. okay. I don't need it. So. No, but even the fact that someone like touches you is offside. Let alone what he's saying. But I find it fascinating. We talk about that. We were talking about this at work the other day. Is that for some reason when you're on TV, people and TV radio, people think that they know you. Even yes. though they don't, and they feel like I'll have people say, "Oh, I love, yeah, I love watching you. I hate when you wear that dress, or like you look, or you look <laughs> smaller in real life." Or and it's just, it's what? Is, how does this? But they think they're kind of being a helpful, nice friend, mm-hmm. and it's just. My mom used to get very, uh, you're prettier in person. Yeah, which was which like, they think is a compliment. But it's not because you're saying, yeah, it's, it's but you have to be you very yeah. nice, right? And you just say, Thank like, you, how did yeah. you react, though? Because well, you so, must have been. <laughs> so it was, it was kind of like after you Adam's a very nice floor, person. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, said, I, 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 I honestly explained it to him because you know what? I, I have put on weight in the last two years. And that is because I and we were talking about this before the show started today. I'm, I'm working three different jobs. So I'm doing this. This I consider a job. It is a job. Uh, it's a small business. Uh, we're doing <laughs> breakfast television, and I've got the the radio show. So there's some days where I start at 4 a.m. and I'm not done till 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. And at a certain point, you got to sleep, right? <laughs> What's this guy say? Yeah. What's his expression well, when you're just like, you don't know me? Well, I didn't. I said <laughs> like, I was super kind about it. I was like super calm too, like because what am I going to do? Yell at him? Uh, no, exactly. And, and that's I said, not going to help. Man, I, I got this radio show in the afternoon. He's like, oh, I didn't know that. And I said, so I'm usually exhausted. So, yeah, recently I've been skipping the gym a little bit more than I normally would. And I'm really tired. And when you're tired, you eat more. And I, I can't said, believe so I you gave him an explanation. I know. I don't. I don't. Meanwhile, don't forget, he really has to go to the washroom. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. So, anyway, I'm like, anyway, dude, I'll, I'll see you later. And I went down to the bathroom and I came back up. And the reason I'm continuing the story is this. And this is this guy, again, not, do not demonize no. this person. He came up to me, put his arm around me, and he said, listen, man. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's About nice. 15 minutes later, he's yeah. like, I don't want you to think I'm, you're fat. And he's like, I, I, he said, I just, I said the wrong thing. And that happens. Yeah. And so I want, that's why I tell that story. Not a bad person. He just right. misspoke. Yes. 
Right. And again, it's this thing where people and he paid you the highest compliment where I feel like I'm t- seeing a friend on TV. Right. So then they think in person, I know you so I can say anything. Right. It's I again, we talk about it at work all the time when there's just we have something in our day, something similar, and we come in and it's like, can you get over this? But then it's kind of like, <laughs> OK, well, I mean, I get it. We get there's, it. There's, it's just very it's very bizarre. And I find too at bars, too, when people are drinking and they'll come up to you and it's like just social norms go out the window. Uh, so you have to be very good at, I mean, be nice and, and then, but you also have to. And at a certain point, I think move, some move people on. would give you the license not to be nice, but I always yeah. feel like people have the best intentions. Yes. Right? Yeah. Always. Every single time. I've never once had like someone with bad intentions. Right. Mm-hmm. In person. Right. And you know what? We put on fucking weight from time to time. Right? <laughs> Holy fucking shit. It's, it, it, it's the, I'm almost 30, man. I'm going to put on some pounds every once in but a while. But I just find it funny. Can you imagine any other job, just some random person coming up to you saying like, like at a law firm and some <laughs> person, like some client comes in being like, listen, you are great on this case, but hey, buddy. <laughs> Johnson, <laughs> what's going on there? <laughs> Compelling argument. Yeah. Glad we won the case, but you put on a few pounds lately. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah so, greetings, Your Honor. Oh you're fat. Goodness. Also, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>